Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Joe Goddett, and uh, you might know me as the voice of Rockstar Foxy, Funtime Foxy, and Mr. Hippo from Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night. And I'm going to do something I haven't done since I recorded the actual dialogue for Mr. Hippo's speech. I'm going to try to do it from start to finish, one of his monologues. I haven't looked at the script since I recorded uh, for the session years ago, so we'll see if I can recreate it. Probably not, but I hope you're watching and you enjoy it. So I love you guys. Thank you. Ah, my friend, you have met a terrible, terrible demise, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't feel too bad about it. After all, uh, if it weren't for me, it would have just been from someone else, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, life, well, life goes on. Uh, well, well, for everyone else, life goes on. Uh, not, not for you. You're dead. But that's neither here nor there. It reminds me of one summer day in the park. I was having just a delightful picnic with my good friend Orville, and I said, Orville, I said to him, I, I have a story. And he said uh, to me, well, what's the significance of the story? And, uh, well, I said to him, or Orville, not every story has to have significance, you know. Well, sometimes a story is, is just a story. You try to read into every little thing and find meaning in every little thing someone says to you. It'll just drive you crazy. Had a friend do it once. Wasn't pretty. We talked about it for years. And not only that, you'll, you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe, thinking something you shouldn't think, or uh, assuming something you shouldn't assume, you know. Sometimes I said, a story is it's just a story. So be quiet for a second in your life, all right, and eat your sandwich, okay? Of course, it was only then that I realized I'd made sandwiches. Poor Orville was, uh, you know, having such difficulty eating it. Elephants have those, you know, those clumsy hands, you know. Actually, I, I suppose that's the problem. They don't have hands at all, do they? They're, they're all feet. And I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich with my feet. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a bakery nearby. I said to him, Orville, let me go and get you some rye bread. Now, I, I'm, I'm unsure if elephants enjoy rye bread, but I assure you that Orville does. Now, this was on a Tuesday, which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough bread on Monday and, and threw it out Wednesday, or, or rather they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks, and probably at the end of the day, finally, they just all threw it out. Actually, I don't recall. Ah. <sighs> I do remember a man who would bring his son to the bakery every Wednesday and go feed the ducks. He would buy all the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. It swells up in their stomach and then they die. At, uh, at, least, at least that's what I've heard. You know, I, I never saw any ducks die myself, but I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population over the course of a few years. I just never stopped to think the man... And, or to thank him, or let me start over because I'm not re-recording this because Hippo talks and talks. I just never thought to stop the man and tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. And if you want my opinion on the matter, huh, and I told Orville this as well, if you want to feed ducks or birds or any kind for that matter, it's best to just buy seed. I mean, when you stop and think about it, breads of any sort don't occur in nature, do they? They don't grow on trees or spring up from the bushes. I don't think birds know what to do with bread. What was I saying? Oh, 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 yes. So I bought Orville some rye bread. What a fine day it was. I don't remember recording any of that back in the day. But uh, it's, so, it's so surreal to think that people still enjoy the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise and uh, enjoy any of the work I did for that matter. It's, it's, uh, it's wild to think so. I just want to say thanks to everybody for, for watching and, and following along the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Uh, I'm very grateful to be just a small part of it. And uh, my goodness, does Hippo talk and talk and talk. So I love you and thanks for watching.